Hello and welcome at the Hague Security Delta here in The Hague. Today is the first day of the Cybersecurity Week and this day it's all about access to talent. very proud and very excited to kick off this Cybersecurity Week here in The Hague. It showcases beautifully all we have in The Hague in the field of innovation, talent and knowledge in the field of cybersecurity. Today is dedicated to talent. Uh, access to talent is uh, key for uh, cybersecurity and uh, today we give uh, uh, children the opportunity uh, to hack everything they want uh, because they're the future and uh, for us it's very key to have them interested in the field of uh, cybersecurity. Access to talent means some school kids got a workshop in ethical hacking today. And we're curious if they liked it. Uh, yeah, I would like to be an ethical hacker because uh, it will, I like to work with technology. Uh, the technology and the Google Glasses and uh, all the high tech stuff. I like that I learned so much things about it. About Hacking and so. I would like to be an ethical ha hacker because you can help businesses to be um, better so that it can't be hacked. For doing it um, uh, one day, uh, it's, it's fun and nice, but doing it every day, it kind of bothers me. Qualified personnel is key uh, for uh, innovation, and that's why we invest. Uh, in uh, education on all the levels uh, today for small kids uh, but we also have the cybersecurity academy uh, which offers a master in the field of cybersecurity students from all over the world attended various track sessions today here on the campus and i'm going to ask them why is it so important to have a safe cyberspace well, as a student communication, I've learned that a company has to have a, um, a good uh, security space because uh, otherwise it will damage the reputation and also uh, the image of the company. It is very important to have a safe cyberspace, especially in business activities, in order to avoid unnecessary losses due to the hackers. A concept that has just been explained to me in a lecture is something called ransomware. And what this is, is the idea that if someone puts malware onto your computer then they can pop up a little message which will tell you you have to pay 200 euros if you want to see your files ever again. I'm currently in the middle of writing my thesis and I'm thinking about what a disaster it would be if that little message popped up on my laptop one day. So that was it, day one of the Cybersecurity Week. Uh, hope to see you guys tomorrow again and that day will be all about access to market. Hello and welcome to the Cybersecurity Week at the Hague Security Delta. This is day two, which is all about access to market. Innovation Quarter is a regional development agency for South Holland. It is set up by the national government, the province, but also all the large cities, including The Hague and all the universities here in this region. We have three tasks. We finance young technology companies and innovative SMEs. We attract foreign companies, especially innovative companies, to our region. And we help companies setting up innovation cooperation between innovative SMEs or with knowledge institutes or governments. In this region, this region is very attractive for foreign companies to invest in because we have three top universities. We have a giant talent pool. And we have in all national top sectors uh, outstanding companies. And especially in the security cluster, we have everything to help foreign companies to make a success over here if they invest in South Holland. So today, several international businesses, mostly US and Canadian based, 
have come here today for an international matchmaking event. This event has been made possible by the Chamber of Commerce, the Enterprise Europe Network, in cooperation with the Hague Security Delta. So let's find out why they've come to the Cybersecurity Week and what's their impression of the Hague Security Delta. Well, at NetSweeper, uh, we've been invited through the Canadian Embassy to attend this Cybersecurity Week. Uh, we're looking for partners, uh, prospective government relationships, prospective customers, and really to see the latest and greatest in cybersecurity. I think the strategy of bringing the Triple Helix together with the government and other institutions, along with the resources, is really going to help with the execution, which is what it's all about, executing our plans and having a triple win. Uh, we came to the Cybersecurity Week because we're a Canadian-owned company uh, called Titus and we decided we would like to expand our um, presence on the European territory. Netherlands seems to be a very attractive place to do so, so we wanted to get a feel of the territory itself to understand who the main players are here, to understand what are the possibilities, what are the uh, opportunities, and basically we would like to see who we can partner up with. That's a wrap for today, day two of the Cybersecurity Week. Uh, we hope to see you again tomorrow, and that day will be all about access to innovation. Hi, and welcome at the Hague Security Delta at the Cybersecurity Week. This is day three. And the theme of today is access to innovation. Today, we have no less than 20 Dutch innovations here at the Hague Security Delta. We even have a scoop. It's the release of the Black Phone by KPN. The impact of the Cybersecurity Week is uh, enormous on uh, the city of The Hague. It without any doubt will lead to uh, more jobs in this sector in uh, The Hague and of course in the region of, uh, of The Hague. Uh, many more jobs I'm sure in the, in the future. Well, the importance of the uh, Innovation Room, you can, could see it uh, during the opening uh, today. Is, is I'm sure is a, uh, fascinating because so many uh, companies, businesses, small and larger, here present with all those who are interested in innovation and of course in security on the internet are present here and uh, this without any doubt during the whole week will lead to more interest, uh, stressing the importance of The Hague and the region of The Hague and I repeat it, more jobs here. The Black Phone is an innovation delivered by KPN. Um, it's a smartphone containing a special uh, operating system that protects all the data on your smartphone, on the Black Phone. Uh, it also delivers true encryption uh, in the conversation you have with another person when you're calling or when you're exchanging files. So that was day three of the Cybersecurity Week here at the Hague Security Delta. And wow, what a day it has been. A day filled with innovations and the attendance of Minister Henk Kamp from Economic Affairs and the attendance of the Mayor of the city, Mr. Van Aertse. We're excited about day four, which is also about innovations. So, welcome. It's already day four of the Cybersecurity Week here at the campus of the Hague Security Delta. 
Uh, the day is still about access to innovation, but with a special interest for ethical hacking. Call ethical hacking responsible disclosure. And responsible disclosure protects the hacker, but also protects uh, the company. And in that way, uh, hackers can help to uh, uh, stop the security uh, uh, breaches in uh, our vital systems. One of the most current threats are uh, cybercrime, especially organized cybercrime, because cybercrime is getting very mature these days. And of course, uh, espionage uh, the, uh, from different countries is uh, also a, a tricky business. Threatscan is provided by Threatstone and what we do is we help small and medium enterprises to protect themselves against cyber criminals. We do that by uh, scanning their systems connected to the internet and vulnerabilities. Those vulnerabilities are reported including uh, the solution uh, to get resolved so that they are uh, yeah, protected against them. Ethical hacking makes it possible to report vulnerabilities to the owner of the system. So the owner can repair its vulnerabilities and be safer to the outer, side, outer world. First of all, do no harm must be the number one on your rule set. Second to that, you need qualities like thinking outside the box. Hacking is a way to use systems where they're not designed to work. So if you can think outside the box and respect the rule do no harm, you're, in my opinion, an ethical hacker. So that was day four of the Cybersecurity Week here at the campus. Tomorrow is already the last day, and that day is all about access to capital.